everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and my filming area looks like this, um, at least one of my filming areas, and the reason is that I've been organizing the doll stuff, I want everything sorted by brand and bagged by character if possible, and we've reached this stagnation point because I've been too lazy, so I thought today I'd just do a video where I organize my stuff. A lot of you guys have been asking for videos about how I organize my stuff, and I'll show you my current situation. It's a little dark and spooky over here. So the American Girl dolls live on this dresser, so I kind of, um, I keep the stuff in this dresser. So my current organization is all messed up because I kept messing with it, but like, this was the poopsie stuff, and then, ow. Um, it's just not good. Uh, this is like things adjacent to Winx, in my opinion, that aren't, um, that aren't Winx. This is, it says Dracula or Gloom Beach, but this is Pinky Cooper. My pull-up stuff's in here. There's like a random Barbie outfit here because I was looking at it. Um, and then Monster High is the most organized right now, <laughs> but it's not great. Um, Monster High I'm not going to deal with right now, that's its own battle. Oh, and Enchantimals too, because I finally have them on display. Um, but, yeah, we're trying to prepare the rest of the doll stuff in that same way. So, moving back over here. I've actually done a great job so far. Um, Winx was just too much, and I kept finding more Winx stuff, so I had to stop. So, I need to find a bigger bin to put those in, and then sort. They're their own beast to sort. They're really difficult to sort. But, like, this is Mattel, so... Monster Ever After and Barbie. And then this was like anything that goes in the non-doll corner. So ponies, Neopets, Pokemon, that stuff. Um, and then I was I filmed and edited a video about all my childhood dolls. But where is the video? Uh, I uploaded it and it just disappeared. So I, I don't know what happened there. I was really tired. So um, that day earlier, like I think late last week, that video didn't come out. That's what happened there. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna clean this up and provide updates as we do it um, and show you my method for organizing as well Because I think it's a good one and I got it from my mama. All right So step one is to set up shop It's obviously hard to get started But just make sure you have a ton of extra bins handy like even right now That's an empty basket in case I find a new category or need to upgrade a category Hi <laughs> Um and basically, this is one of my bins. I can tell, these are so funny to me because I can tell exactly what apartment I lived in when this bin was created because of the contents of the bin. Um, so basically, I moved around a lot for the past three years and didn't do a lot of organizing because I just didn't have a lot of space to organize stuff. So I would just throw any doll-related stuff into a bin. So um, we're rectifying that now. I've actually already gone through like four bins, so it's going good. And we don't just pull directly out of the bin because... I, I just dump it out. I remove any big stuff off the top, like the LOL, that cards are going right in here. And then the rest I'm gonna dump out and I'll show you that once I'm done. So you have to make sure you have a pretty good radius here. Um, and that this stuff doesn't encroach on your area. Push it away. Um, and then you really just have categories. So bags are for things that are in small categories that shouldn't take up too much, like frozen outfits. I have a lot just because I bought the deluxe sets, but that should be about all of them. Uh, cave club shouldn't be that much, so they're in there. Uh, capsule chicks, I only have a few, you know. Um, this is pull-up stuff, because pull-up stuff is already organized, but we're gonna keep finding stuff, so there's just a small bag for it. Pinky Cooper, it's a frozen shoe that fell. Put it back in the bag. Um, and then Bratz is here, because my Bratz stuff is right here, actually, but I want everything really nicely organized in the bin, so that's not going in the bin until I have a chance to organize it. <sighs> this is just Disney stuff that's not sorted by franchise or anything, so it's just kind of a mess. Rainbow High. You know, you just... And this area will be very different depending on who you are. So I'm gonna dump this out and then I will return this to you. This is one I really didn't want to do, but this is like... This is literally childhood stuff that hasn't been organized. Like, this is from my old dollhouse when I was a kid. Oh, look! One of the Mycene dogs from when I was a kid. Some doll stands from when I was a kid. And then there was stuff on top that was modern. Uh, so this is gonna be annoying to sort. I still need to do it, so it's already dumped, so I'll do it. Uh, but, you know, look. Cyan la -dee -da. My first doll as a collector. Some random Barbie head I tried to reroute. You know? Fun times. <laughs> We're making some decent progress. This is where we are now. Just, you know, one by one. That's Winks. Um, there's a lot of stuff from that secondhand lot that I got 
Um, so it's like not mine. I don't know what it is. So like there's several of whatever this is, which is vaguely familiar to me. Like lots of little accessories. So I, I, I used to make dollhouses with cardboard. So I have a lot of stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that like I really don't know what it is. Uh, this is like dirty. I don't really think I need it. I'm gonna toss it. Um, and this look, this is my elementary school mascot. Isn't that cute? We were stingrays. Um, and all my childhood my scene stuff is coming up. There's Bling Bling Barbie's purse. I also found her little compact and her necklace, but her necklace is broken. There's the compact or whatever you would call that thing. Um, oh, oh, sweet. I didn't know I still had that. From the Alfia College Boy set. It's Tecna's little robot. I think that was from like the pilot comic, right? And look, there's another thing from the Alfia College. So like a lot of this stuff is my childhood stuff and then other stuff is from that random lot that I bought. I guess I happened to dump it in this bin just kind of annoying. Look, he's a panther from Thundercats for some reason. My brother's Naruto stuff. He was like, I'm gonna get rid of it all. And I was like, no, you can't. So I have it now. Um, a lot of Winx mechanisms. My Mycene dogs. I knew I kept like my Mycene stuff. So it's um, exciting that I'm finally finding it. And then I have all these like num nums from that lot. I don't know what to do with all these. They're cute though. Um, another Mycene dog. Um, there's like a bin for stuff that truly has no other place, like this random Lego piece. Oh, another Num Num! And then there's like these, um, Tsum Tsums, which I'm just gonna put with the Disney stuff. Obviously it's Disney. Um, and I don't really have a lot of them. Oh, there it is. That's my Style Stars Jade wig. I destroyed it because it was really bad quality, so I thought cutting it would help. For some reason I had this phase when I first started collecting dolls where I thought cutting the hair would fix it. Of course that's not how that works. This is a Num Num sandwich. Rabbit. And Makuhita from Pokemon. I loved the Pokemon toys when I was little. <gasps> Sweet! Campfire Chloe's little sock thing. Ooh, I hope I find the other one. I, I have not been able to find this for years. That's so cool. See, this is important. Oh, hello. Bling Bling Barbie's earring. No post, though. Um, yeah, if I find anything else interesting, I'll let you know. But I just have to have quite a few updates throughout the video to make it be a reasonable length. This is Bling Bling Barbie's, too, isn't it? My Mycene bag's getting flushed out from my childhood stuff getting in there. Exciting stuff. Um, I'm getting to the point, though, where there's too many categories now. Here's a Clefable. There's, like, too many categories, so a lot of the stuff that's still in the pile, like, I only have a couple Polly Pocket things, but I do have some. Um, so, like, need a bag for them, but it's only gonna have a couple things. Oh, there's an intact Barbie earring. Is this also for Bling Bling Barbie? I have the, um, the, sh the like, fur thing from Bling Bling uh, Noli, but I don't remember actually having the doll, but maybe I did. <sighs> I'm gonna go. I'm just procrastinating now, really. Um, I need to go get more bins. I look an electrode. I need to go get more bins for organizing stuff, because... Um, and I'm finding a lot of my, um, I had this really cool loving family dollhouse that I've used as my Pokemon base, so I'm finding a lot of pieces from that, which is such a shame because I love that set and I don't have it anymore. I just have, like, some stuff from it. Mine was a store display, too, because my dad worked at Toys R Us. Um, I really wish I still had it because I loved it. Oh my, how random is that? That's my Pokewalker, um, back. I wonder where the Pokewalker is. <sighs> Organize your stuff, guys. Don't just throw it all into a random stuff bin. Um, if I had organized this years ago, we would not be in this predicament. My scene lipstick. <laughs> um, this is from, like, a Harry Potter spider. I bought somebody's half-made custom that was gonna have, like, it was a monster hide-all with a spider body, and I could not figure out how to put the stupid spider body back together, so it's just, like, in pieces. You know, fun stuff. C gross old makeup from an old Barbie playset. Look, there's Gara. Sorry, I'm already back, but I found this thing. This is such a weird video, I'm so sorry. And like, I was sitting there like, oh my god, I remember this so vividly, what is this? I had a book that was like the anatomy of frogs or something. It might, this might go to a different book, but I'm pretty sure it goes to the anatomy of frogs book. And it had like plastic organs and bones and stuff. And I think this is one of the organs or something. Obviously the book didn't work too much for me because I do not know what it is for sure. It looks taped on actually. Does this yellow piece even go to this piece? I don't know. Like, isn't that crazy though? Like this random stuff from my childhood. 
I also found another Bling Bling Barbie earring and it still has the post, so that's kind of exciting. Um, I'm hoping I find the bracelets. I know where one of them is and it's broken. I think that's Liv, right? I'm gonna put it with Liv for now. Um, let's look at all this doll stuff. It's kind of cool to go through. What kind of doll does that go to? Is that Barbie? I'm gonna put it with Barbie. Um, it's kind of cool to go through any kind of lot of random toy stuff and be able to ID it and sort it, especially if it's not yours. But like with, or sorry, I meant especially if it is yours because it brings up all these like memories, you know? Look, this is the outfit from, my friends had these Polly Pockets and I wanted them so bad my mom wouldn't let me. And they, they gifted me a rabbit and a cat Polly Pocket pet, you know? And they gave me two outfits for them and this was one of the outfits that I got. The other one's like a yellow crinkly dress that I really liked. Um, Maybe we'll find that. Oh, I wonder if we'll find the pets. I really want to find them. I'm procrastinating again. I'm sorry. Please, please, please give me feedback on this video because I'm very interested in how you guys feel about it or if you want more like this. Um, I'm almost done actually organizing my doll stuff and I'll probably finish the bulk of it tonight, but I still need to do like subcategorizing in um, Monster High and stuff. Um, but basically I'm just sorting by thing. I'm grateful now that I separate or I didn't separate Mattel so like all Barbie I was just throwing into one giant pile that's gonna be obnoxious later when I need to go through and sort that pile in of itself but for now it was really easy because I'm like oh monster high oh Barbie Barbie like most of the bin like went into that pile um I got this organization method from my mom she would basically every time I made like a giant mess in my room or if I would just throw everything into a random bin she was very specific that like you have to put your stuff away correctly you can't just throw it all in a bin or like shove it under your bed and I was really always at odds of that because I hated it so <laughs> I always would try to find like ways to hide stuff so I would like find a bin to like hide in like the kitchen or something just so that I could get out of cleaning for that week uh, I was so such a little turd um, but that's kind of how bins like this developed, is that eventually I was old enough that my mom wasn't nitpicking the way that I was putting things away, so I had the freedom to just be irresponsible. Um, I was still really young at the time, but um, it's definitely annoying to look back. And uh, now that I have to go through and fix it, it's extra annoying. Um, but anyway, when she would find that I didn't actually put things away right, like she would find a Pokemon in the My Little Pony bin or something, she would literally take that bin and dump it out and then give me, like, piles and say, like, this is your little pet shop pile, this is your pony pile, this is your Neopets pile, like, you have to organize it and then put it away. Uh, so that's kind of where I got this from, and it's, I'm, it's not that intuitive, but it works very, very well. Uh... I do wish that I had prepared more. I need more gallon-sized Ziploc bags. I just generally don't buy Ziploc bags. Like, Ziploc is a brand, by the way. Um, you know, just resealable bags. Um, I usually don't buy them. I usually re recycle them, so, like, years worth of getting packages and stuff, or using them for other stuff, and then keeping them, I'll use them. Just because they're kind of expensive and wasteful just to throw them away when you're done and stuff oh I found was that what I thought it was that was like a carnival barbie shirt isn't this like neat though like look at all this doll stuff it was really fun oh that's a little um throwing knife from Naruto that's Mogera's arm I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the video but I was so stoked to find that uh, more Naruto stuff uh but this was like a really big trip down memory lane like I found some stuff that I didn't remember from when I was a kid or I found stuff that I thought was gone forever like a lot of my scene accessories that I did not know that I still had so I'm really excited that I still do um I have decided to put all the Naruto stuff into a big bag now I still don't know what to do with those like I don't want to sell them because they're a childhood thing but um because I saved them from the garage sale pile because I was like no those toys are really cool but, um, I thought Brett might want them, but he didn't want them, so, and I don't really have an action figure collection. I do like them, and I did like the show a lot as a kid, but, like, I don't really feel like I need them. Ooh, Ronaldo was being annoying. You just have to kind of direct him away, but, um, he was, he was interested in all the new smells. Like, I'm sure, um, 
my childhood cats. Gucci's actually one of my childhood cats. He lives upstairs now. But um, there was probably a lot of spells from, like, my childhood rabbits and my cat who's no longer with us and stuff. So Ronaldo was probably super interested in that. Leggy was kind of interested, but she's um, less in your face about it. Like, she was hiding in the dollhouse that you see behind me. Um, but I'm really, really excited to have all of this stuff organized. Uh, every time I moved, I would just bring the dolls and any accessories, like, pertinent to them. So, this stuff has just been sitting, basically, in storage at my mom's house. Or, like, in my old room at my mom's house, just waiting, lying dormant, you know? And then for all these years, I've been questioning, like, do I still have this? Or, like, did I lose this forever? Or, dang, I really wish I could find the, like, there's a bag somewhere, I hope we find it, I still haven't found it, that has my first wave Ever After High Dolls rings. I put them in bags specifically, and then I lost the bag. Well, it's not lost, it's just in one of these bins, you know? And I just, it's been cluttering my mind a lot since I moved into this house. There's just these giant bins. There's, like, six or seven giant bins of just unorganized doll stuff and I know it's gonna take forever I know it needs to be done it'll make me really happy when it's done it'll make it really easy for me to do photography or do like a doll series if I need accessories for the dolls and stuff like that so it's really good to actually get it done and get it all out of the way and then also like I don't know it's just doesn't feel like an adult controlled um stable hobby when there's just bins and bins and bins of stuff and like oh that was the style stars jade microphone i still haven't found the microphone stand but everything else i found including the little back card mm. sorry if there's anything like i tried to show you on camera i was kind of looking away from the camera while i was talking um i'm glad i caught that style stars jade piece though but like a lot of this stuff is stuff that for years i've been like oh i have that i just it's in one of the bins so, really glad that I've actually found it. I did not know what that was. Oh man, that means I've already showed it. There was this really cool thing that was, I showed it with my Bling Bling Barbies purse. It was pink. It's a bootleg of that purse in like the exact mold. I thought that was kind of funny. That was from a lot that I bought from a kid that wasn't mine. We didn't really have any bootleg stuff because my mom knew what she was doing. Ooh, I found the shoe to my Magic the Pegasus doll. Is her name Annika? I'm kind of blanking right now. No, it was like Brietta. No, Brietta's her sister, right? Um, but look, there's her shoe. I'm gonna Google it right now, actually. Magic of Pegasus. <laughs> Annika, okay. So Brietta's the sister. I was right. I loved that doll. So I, I thought I had both of her shoes, but it's possible I only had one of them. We still have a ton more bins to go through, including more childhood stuff, so we still have a chance. Like, I still haven't found all of my Mycene purses, and I know I have more of those. Um, I think I'm gonna cut this clip. I'll fast forward through it and see. Oh, there's another Mycene dog. That was the one I showed you in another clip. I just hadn't organized or started organizing when that clip played. Um, that's the torn up Supergirl shirt. Oh, that was something I was really excited about. That's Yasmin's sleep mask. Sorry, I didn't put it on right. I'm not just incompetent. I was just trying to put it on her head so it would be with her. I'm so nervous about this video and I don't like doing voiceovers. For some reason, voiceovers make me really uncomfortable because it's kind of like talking on the phone. I like talk. Oh, that's a funny story. I've, I've told it multiple times, but if you haven't caught it, when that was one of my childhood dolls, Dynamite Megan, I actually find her um, sunglasses at some point in this clip and I was really excited because I didn't realize I still had those. Like I had no idea. Um, but anyway... I started using my old doll stuff for my Monster High dolls, so anything that was compatible. And I had heard that Brad's stuff was compatible, and so Dynamite Megan's stuff came up as an option. And I didn't like the length of the pants because they were like, they were just awkward, like mid shin with the weird triangles that didn't make sense with what I was doing. Ah, that's a my C and P's. Um, anyway, they like didn't make sense, so I cut them into shorts. And boy, do I regret it. They look so stupid. So I ended up just having to buy a complete Dynamite Megan to replace her. Oop, I found something I'm excited about. What did I find? Oh, her sunglasses. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? I had no idea that I still had them. Uh, I'm so annoyed, though, because I can't find my Dynamite scooter. I know I didn't get rid of that scooter. 
and I can't find it anywhere. So hopefully it's just sitting in one of these bins and we find it. There is still a Barbie furniture bin I need to go through and I did dig through it to try to find her scooter, but maybe it's still in there and I just missed it. Um, and there is little stuff at the bottom of that bin. I'm just not thrilled about it. Because, like, where do you keep giant Barbie furniture pieces? Because mine are a bunch of the furniture pieces that go to the dollhouse you see behind me. I have the Bratz World Mansion furniture. Um, and then a bunch of other furniture from childhood or that I've accumulated over time. And they're big pieces and you can't, like, break them down. Where am I supposed to put them? I want to get big garage shelves and just set up doll house type displays so that the furniture is part of the display and it's not just sitting in a bin where it can get damaged. I mean obviously it can get damaged by like falling off a shelf or something but if it's just sitting in a bin for years it's putting strain on it where it's not supposed to be and when I dig through I could hurt it stuff like that. Um, but overall the clip that you're seeing now and going through well okay going through this bin the clip that you're seeing now was a 20 minute clip, but I probably spent about 20 minutes outside of the clip doing this. So it was less than an hour to do this entire huge bin. Um, obviously I still have the next demon to tackle, which is finding places for all the plastic bags and the stuff that I've organized. Like that's gonna be fun. And I didn't, it, I failed to realize how much, like I don't, I have almost every LOL Surprise OMG doll. Um, maybe I have like two-thirds or three-fourths of them, but I didn't realize how much stuff they have. Like, yes, I kept the back cards and like the little mirrors from their packaging, but still like they have a lot of accessories. So there's a bin that I was just keeping their stuff in that's over by where I display them. And it was just like a random Ikea bin. I'm just throwing everything in there. It's so much stuff. So now I'm thinking like I should organize all that. Um, so that's going to be a whole process of putting everything in little baggies, which for brats, that's really difficult because I don't know what all the pieces go to. So I have to like do a lot of research just to find like where this one um, bracelet goes to or something, which is rough. Um, <laughs> I would love to just like do a live stream of some sort with a bunch of experts and be like, this is all the, this is all the doll stuff. I have no idea what it goes to. Please help me. Um, Ooh, the clip's actually almost over. I was gonna cut it, but we made it. Um, but anyway, LOL OMG will be like a lot faster. Monster High was pretty easy for me when I first did it when I was like 14, because I know what all my Monster High stuff goes to. And it's just nice to organize your stuff because then you truly know what you have. Like I still have a checklist of things that I knew were missing 10 years ago from my Monster High collection. All right, the clip's done. So I finished sorting everything from this batch, except some stuff that like I don't know what exactly it goes to, or it is like a one-off thing that I'm just gonna put where it goes. Like the Lottie doll stuff, I'm just gonna find the doll and put them with her. And then like Playmobil stuff goes in that bin, and it's across the room. Uh, this one Kawaii Crush thing that's annoyingly broken goes with the Kawaii Crush stuff. This is crazy. Um, this goes to a dinosaur from King Kong that my brother and I had when we were little, so I don't know if I still have the dinosaur. But if not, I'm sure somebody needs this piece only, so it's kind of cool to find. Um, and then like this battery door, I don't know what it goes to, but you just gotta keep this kind of stuff. It's probably vintage Barbie, just because um, basically what was in this bin was that lot of stuff that I bought from, or I don't think I made a video, but I bought a lot of stuff that came with a bunch of Lil's Pet Shops. Um, so it came with like all these nom noms and stuff. And then my like childhood doll stuff that I had at my dad's house so um a lot of that's from when I first started collecting so that's why like the Lottie doll stuff's in here and then my stepmom's vintage Barbie stuff she gave to me at some point so that's what a lot of this stuff is is from her childhood and then of course my childhood stuff um and um some of the highlights for sure are this Mogera arm I have legitimately been looking for this since 2009 Bef like my parents got divorced in 2008 and my dad didn't move out until after that, but while he lived in our house, this arm was in his desk drawer. And I have not been able to find it since then, and I was so frustrated because I knew nobody would th throw it away, so I'm really excited about it. It goes to a little Godzilla figure, um, and I'd hate to have to buy an entire figure just for the arm, so this this was like the highlight for me. I couldn't believe it when I found it. And then, um, obviously, all the pieces of my childhood dolls that I found, like I found a ton of stuff from the happy family like pregnant midge doll that's cool because i would love to get that doll again someday and i love those accessories i found some little pet shop stuff which is always good um these two i got in like 2012 um and i found her um sleep mask 
and her little socks. I can't figure out how to get them on correctly. Is that how they're supposed to be? Or are they supposed to be a little bit higher? Um, I'm really glad I found those though because I knew I had them and it was driving me nuts that I couldn't find them. But like, this is why you've got to organize your stuff. And if I had organized this stuff 10 years ago, it would be different. But listen, I was 12 years old, okay? Like, we're, I'm 21, but you know, in like 2012, nine years ago. Um, and... Uh, I'm really grateful that I found her shoe, but I wish that I had found the other one as well. It might be somewhere else. Like, we might still find it. Um, and all the other stuff is, like, organized. So, we'll... I want to do sub-organization. Like, obviously the Mattel stuff needs to be organized. I want, like, paper stuff on its own. All the weird brushes in their own area. Far away from the other stuff because they're not really relevant. There's a lot of pieces of, like, Barbie furniture. Like, I think this goes to a treadmill. Um get everything paired with what it goes to um winks really needs work and there's another bin that i'm going to be doing tonight um i need to edit this video and upload it first though but the next bin that i'm going to be doing tonight is like all wink stuff but there's other stuff in the bin too which is why i gotta organize it um also i found this i found this at the thrift store and i didn't know where i had put it isn't this so cute it's like a little recycling bin i don't know um, so I can put that up with my dollhouse. The Rainbow High Dolls are a mess right now over there. Because I really want to do that hair video. <laughs> um, and then that is a beast I do not want to tackle. That is all the Bratz... Well, that small bin on top is Bratz stuff. But everything else in that box is all the stuff that I've gotten in lots recently that wasn't Bratz. So there's a ton of like Mycene and Barbie and whatever else in there. So that is going to be a chore to go through. So it's just looming in the distance. Um... But yeah, really glad these two are more complete. I I have this vague recollection that maybe I had her hat, but I could be wrong. I said recollection funny, I'm sorry. Um, I po It's possible that I don't actually have her hat, I just hope I do. Um, but now she's complete minus the hat, so that's nice. Ugh. These things that are everywhere, these are my- I kind of showed it in the video in the- um, Sorry, ew. There's like- Oh, sorry, my phone's dying. There's like stuff under my nails, sorry. Um, this stuff is from my DC Barbie Supergirl. Her skirt and her shirt are completely destroyed and flaked really, really badly. Um, this happened in like 2013 or 14 and it's only gotten worse. So that's a lot of what this like debris is and it stinks too because I really like that doll. Uh, another childhood doll. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna continue organizing and get this video uploaded for you guys. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and yeah. Um, let me know if you like just more casual housekeeping type videos like this. Um, I usually wouldn't do these, but people have been asking and asking and asking me how I organize my dolls or like where all my doll stuff is. So I thought that this would be pertinent to that discussion, I guess. Um, and then also my friend Serena, um, her channel is called Fish Dress. She's in my uh, channel box. She did a video of her cleaning her room recently, and it was really well done. Obviously, mine's not as well done as hers. Like, I highly recommend you check out her channel. She's amazing. Um, and I really liked that video, and it really did inspire me to get off my butt and clean my room. <laughs> um, and I think this is just a healthy habit to form. If you're going to build a collection, you need to treat it right. Um, this is childhood stuff. Most of my actual collection stuff is actually organized and bagged and labeled and all nice. But there was always this big backlog of stuff looming that I didn't want to touch. So I'm glad it's finally done. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!